Hello, my friends, and welcome to your adventure compass. You may be wondering, why am I dressed like this? Well, it's because it's time for Capital City Comic Con in Lansing, Michigan. And yes, I am dressed up like a Fallout vault dweller. Got my Pip Boy over here. Yes, it makes sounds. It's got lights and it has a display on the screen. And we're going to go in and we're going to have ourselves an awesome time. So come along with us for this really fun adventure. All right, so we have our wristbands and the entrance is already uh, less crowded. It looks like they have uh, changed things up this year. We're entering here instead of at the door. And the good news is, is there's no line. The only line was to purchase tickets, which we did in advance. So this should be nice and quick. And oh, let's go take a look and see who the special guests are. So here is a quick look at the special guests that are here. A couple of familiar names, not, not a lot of them, but a few that I'm aware of. And over here, a list of all the panels that they have going on. They're, this is quite small and uh, very tiny, so you're not gonna be able to read it, but it looks like there's a lot of stuff. And then over here is a list of all the exhibitors. Of course, there's a ton of vendors at this show. That's what I really like about it. And it's not usually as crowded on Friday, which is one of the reasons I prefer this show over some of the bigger ones. All right, here we go, headed in to Capital City Comic Con. And right away, check this out. How cool is this, guys? We've got a speeder bike, a bunch of Stormtrooper helmets on spears. This is really cool. Looks like you're on Tatooine here. That is pretty awesome. Okay, well, it's around that time. Got a droid right here. Very, very cool. Love the lights up there on top of that, uh, uh, what is that, a, uh, gosh, I can't remember what it's called from Star Wars, the uh, thing, the thing, that's it. <laughs> Guys, check this out. It's IG-88 right here. How cool is that? And I, if I had to guess, I would say he is most definitely 3D printed. Uh huh. But he looks really cool. I actually thought about uh, making one of these myself. It's it is kind of cool, but uh, you know, eventually there becomes an issue of storage. <laughs> and look at these panels, how detailed. Very nicely done. Check this section out here. This is pretty cool. This is quite the display. I'm loving it. Here, big giant gun sticking out of the top here. And it looks like they've got a, uh, a video of some of their work here. Really cool. Over here, it looks like this one's uh, Ray's speeder bike. That's kind of cool. Very nicely done. Check this out. This whole thing is really cool. Another droid over here. And not too far from the Star Wars stuff, check this out. Got some G.I. Joe stuff. I believe there was some G.I. Joe stuff here last year as well. It's some sort of uh, transforming type machine that uh, was an attack vehicle of sorts. And they, they've got boxes here. I don't know if you guys can see this. You back up a little bit so you can see. It's like the, the G.I. Joe boxes that you would get the figures in as a kid. And around the corner is some more. Oh, there it is. This is what I was talking about last year this uh, transforming type vehicle, assault vehicle of some sort. And is that the Cobra Commander? It may be. That might be the Cobra Commander right there. I'm not sure. Let's take a look around the other side, see if there's anything else. There's a crate. I don't think there's anything in it. 
That's it for G.I. Joe. But just past G.I. Joe, it's the Ghostbuster car. Check this out, Ecto-1 right here. How cool is that? They were here last year as well, the Ghostbusters. Very, very cool indeed. And look, they got a proton pack in the back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. We'll zoom in real quick. So they're all ready to go. All right, guys. Well, I ended up doing a thing. I stopped over here at the cosplay area. Signed up for the cosplay contest tonight at 7. We'll see how this goes. First time doing this. All right, now we're going to take a walk around and take a look at some of the things here that the vendors are selling. Check this out. They've got a... Uh, Black Widow model there. A couple of uh, anime over this way. Of course, the comics lining the back shelf over there. And check this out, guys. They're selling lightsabers over here. Of course, they're not technically lightsabers. They're laser swords. Or they're just sabers. Can't call them lightsabers. But you know what I mean. Got some really fancy ones over here. Very cool. Wow, look at this one. That's really fancy. And this one here. Really cool stuff. And it looks like they've got doing? different colors you can choose too, right? Yep, they all yeah. come with 12 colors programmed into it. Very cool. And the sound too? Yep. So you can switch oh, yeah. any color you feel whenever. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And these are really neat too. They're like uh, 3D holograms in these crystal that, balls and they're all Pokemon style. Um, I don't know much about Pokemon so I can't really uh, can't really comment on all the different characters but they, uh, the balls are made like Pokeballs. And then they have the uh, hologram inside. And over here, a bunch of lithograph boxes. If you're not familiar with these, these are 3D printed. And you can basically take an image and 3D print it into the plastic and then put a light behind it and create a box. Yep. I've done yep. this before. I did a uh, family photo. And right over here, they've got a Mando helmet. And uh, this is a little uh, bittersweet for me because I actually 3D printed an entire Mando outfit before I realized how much work had to go into sanding, priming, sanding, priming, sanding, priming. Doing that like over and over and over and then you can finally paint it. It's a lot of work. It is a ton of work, so I uh, never did finish it. Walking by over here, this caught my attention. Look, it's Baby Groot. Hanging out over here with all these horror characters and comic characters. These are uh, bigger, bigger figures, you might say. They're, uh, I would say he's probably a 18 to 20 inch. Same with the uh, Joker here. And we've got uh, Catwoman. Penguin, a couple others, and the horror characters are even taller. These got to be at least 22 inches here. So I just came across this area here and noticed all these flags. There's a uh, Punisher flag up the top, uh, Skull and Crossbounds. They've got a Dungeons and Dragons. And then I noticed this red one, and I think well, that is from The Greatest American Hero, a TV show that was on in the 80s. I'll have to check that when I get home. If you guys know, leave a message in the comments. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And over here we got a bunch of 3D printed items. These are really cool. I love how they got different colors on them. These masks are very detailed. Here are a couple of uh, different snakes and things like that. And some dice towers. Yeah, look at this, some axolotls down here, and some dragons. All right, well, I was just talking with the gentleman back at this booth where the flags are, and he did confirm that is from the greatest American hero. He's also got quite a few more over there as well. You notice the, uh, the Klingon flag, Federation of Planets flag, and a bunch of others. There's even a Skynet up there at the top corner. Really cool. Over here, even more 3D printed stuff, mostly dragons. A few different things in here. 
And this is kind of interesting. I did not even know that they had Lord of the Rings figures, but they do, and they're pretty detailed as well. If you look right here, here's Gandalf. Really neat. And up there, if you guys can see with the glare, but that's the hobbits right there. Very cool. All right, guys, as I was walking away, I turned back to look at the flags and check it out. There's a vault tech flag up there. It goes right along with my outfit. Oh, yeah. You should have All right. I walked by and he told me there's a couple of Fallout. Check them out. There's the ghoul. Very cool. It's the cool ghoul. These are like uh, foil, right? They're like a yeah, foil they're print. Sheets of aluminum, yes. Yeah, that's and cool. The, uh, they're UV treated before we put the art on there, so they don't ever fade or peel away. They run sixty individually. I got to buy two, get one free deal going on the metals. And then the paper posters are twenty five. Buy two, get two free on the papers. And check this little guy out crawling underneath the table. <laughs> He's gonna get tangled up down there. And they've also got Let me know if you guys want to see anything of some various lasers. Oh, I have one. Oh, oh, yeah. well, guys, you've heard of snakes on a plane. How about snakes at the con? That's right. They have some snakes here. We have this one right here. His name is Joe. I know that because that's the name tag. <laughs> Joe, turn his head back and forth. I will absolutely. I don't want to treat this one. I am not seeing. He says NASA. Yeah. And they've got one of them out of the cage over there. I know. He really It's like a uh, ball python. And down here are some various trading cards. I think these are Pokemon cards down here. And I am familiar with these. Magic the Gathering. They have a ton of different cards over here from Magic the Gathering. Now I've got boxes and boxes of those. And I'm sure some of them are actually worth something because I think they are first gen. But uh, I wouldn't have the slightest clue. I'd have to look them up. And this location right here is selling wands. Like the kind you see in Harry Potter, they've got all kinds of different wands here. Some very detailed, some not so detailed. This depends on what you're looking for. And of course, like we saw last year, they have the Lego characters of every different kind. I bet they have some Fallout Lego characters. I might have to get one of those. Over here, they have dice and dice towers, all 3D printed. Over on this side, there's a Mace Windu doll. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's new. Well, maybe not new, but new to me. And uh, a couple, I don't know who this is. This is from Rogue One. I don't remember his character. That was a good movie. A couple others over here. And check out the Zap Zone robot. He's pretty cool. Looks like one of his ears is out. One lights up and the other one's not lit up. Still pretty cool. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? <laughs> I, th I think, are you having trouble hearing on that, uh, that right ear? Yeah, it's a little out. Okay. <laughs> and this location here has a bunch of Japanese candy. My daughter probably wants to buy some of this because this is her favorite stuff. Got some mojis. And even some of the cakes as well. How cool is that? Definitely right up her alley. And it seems like 3D prints are the most popular thing here. They have tons of them in every different kind, shape, and size. And I believe this place was here last year. They've got a bunch of various swords, katanas, and whatnot, and some armor. This year, they've uh, they've kind of enclosed it in this wire cage, though, which is probably a good idea because you don't want people taking off with your swords and your weapons. And inside, they've also got some wands, some different uh, books as well. And over here, check out these uh, daggers and short sword. Also got a couple of masks up here. Really cool stuff. Over here, more dice. 
Dice seems to be a, a very popular thing here. They do have all the Dungeons and Dragons and role-playing type dice. And of course they have tons of Funko Pops as well. And other various things. Lots of them lining the walls over here. It's like a lot of Star Wars stuff. And on the back wall here, tons of various superheroes and villains as well. Marvel and DC both. And looking down this way, this back wall is where all the celebrities are found. And, uh, you know, honestly, there's only like one person I'm interested in getting an autograph from. It's also a couple of uh, cars here. I guess this is the uh, car from uh, Harry Potter. Got the uh, nine and three quarters up there on the brick wall and the luggage cart right here. And right over here, I guess this is the car from Supernatural. Um, not a big Supernatural fan, so I don't know too much about it, but I, that's the car from the TV show Supernatural. And uh, we've got one more aisle and we'll be out to the center. As I was saying earlier, there's only one person I'm not really interested in so much meeting, but getting an autograph. And uh, I'll explain that a little bit later if we can get around to it. And over here, a lot more of the Lego characters. Got some of the bigger ones over here as well. A giant Spider-Man and a Hulk. Still have not seen any Fallout characters yet. Don't know if I'm going to either. We'll see. And looking over on this side here, still nothing. Lots of Star Wars, lots of superheroes, even video game characters. And check this out, there's even The Simpsons, but still not seeing anywhere, and not, not anywhere am I seeing any Fallout characters. And check this out, guys. They've got some various Star Wars helmets and masks over here. Now this one here is definitely store-bought. You can tell it's just too smooth and uh, looks like it's got like the little screws where it's put together. You can see any layer lines. That is, uh, that is definitely either store-bought or molded. Let's take a look around the corner here. They've got some uh, weapons, some, some various blasters of sorts. And over here, even some more, more stormtroopers and some Mandalorians. If the helmets are the same, event, it's very cool. A couple more Mandalorians over this way. Check out uh, Darth Vader's helmet here with the top off. Very detailed. And one of the uh, cold planets, or whatever you want to call them, uh, Hoth troopers? I don't know remember the uh, technical name for these guys and even more weapons over here including a lightsaber and this is the uh, 501st by the way mentioned them before they do a great job putting on their displays and this year is no exception they are the ones responsible for this setup here which is just so awesome more blasters and check out baby yoda oh my gosh he's even got the hair on his head he's very detailed his colors look really good i don't know how they're going to turn out on camera but i can tell you right now in person this looks as good as the tv show color wise you know a lot of times you see these and the, the colors look too green or too pink or something he looks perfect in person. And right here, there's an R2 unit. And he was saying something. What did you say? No. There he goes. Let's get up. A porg on top of his head there. This one's really cool, too. A really nice display these guys put on. I finally remembered it. It's a moisture evaporator. <laughs> it took me forever, but I remembered it. Okay, so also the guys that run this were just telling me this is not the 501st, it's another group. And guess what? They have a big event downtown Detroit on May 4th. 
And uh, I'm going to put an image of the card that he gave me right here. Well, guys, the name of the event is Space Dive. And of course, it takes place on May the 4th in Detroit. I've got this on my calendar. I want to go. And if I do, I promise you, I'll bring you a video. So the other half of the Comic-Con is usually like artists and authors that write books and other things of that nature here. Some people have designed games. Some people are making their own comics like these here. Looks very cool. And you've got a lot of other unique things in here as well. And here are a few of the people that are supposed to be here this weekend. There's Adrian Pastar. He's uh, in Heroes and also Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We've got Tim Russ, who played Tuvok on Voyager. Uh, Melina Perez, I guess she's a wrestling superstar. I'm not familiar with her, but here is her poster. Over there. next to her, we have Rhino, another wrestling superstar. Michelle Ruff, who's a voice actor. I'm not sure what she does, but uh, there are posters of her work there. There's Greg Abbey, who's a voice actor. It doesn't look like he's here. He might be taking a little lunch break. Mark Thompson, also a voice actor. Cricket Lay, who's also a voice actor. Oh, and before we pass up, Mark Thompson's work is right here. Looks like uh, you can see some of the things that he's worked on. Cricket Lay, right here. And uh, I think I've heard her name. Oh, she did the uh, Avatar Last Airbender. She's a uh, voice actor. And then Katero Colbert, who also is a voice actor. All right, and this is one of the people I want to actually get an autograph from. This is John Beatty. He, uh, he had did some work on the Marvel Secret Wars series. And I have this poster right here in the car. I need to go grab it. And uh, the uh, poster was actually signed by Jim Shooter. So I will have two signatures on my poster if I bring that in and get him to sign it. Let's see some of the other work he's done. Captain America, Punisher, and some of the other stuff here. And I believe, I'm not positive, but I think he did something to do with the color on the comic. I'm not positive. I'll have to ask. And in just a little bit, the Cosplay contest will be taking place over at this stage. And I'll be participating in that. First time ever. I am seeing a lot more cosplay this year than I did last year. It is a Friday, so that's good because usually Fridays are a little bit slower. You can see even over here some of these people standing in front of the celebrities also dressed up. Lots of wow. costumes this year. <laughs> All right, we only have one more aisle after this, and then we've seen the entire con. There is a bunch of various things in these aisles. This one's an author selling books. Some more graphic novels over here. And some posters here. Again, more books over here. These are usually sci-fi books. And up here, let's check this out real quick. It's like they've got some various helmets and whatnot. And I'm not sure what these are made out of. Looks like foam. These are foam? Yes, sir. Very cool. Very cute. Yeah, I couldn't tell at first. I had to look. I'm like, is that foam or is it 3D printed? Or Sherry does all the finishing, so she loves it when she fools you. Yeah, very good. Very. You know what tipped me off? This one, because I, I noticed the uh, on the inside of that one there, you can kind of see the texture, and I'm familiar with that because I've used it. Sure, sure, absolutely. Yeah. No, they look great though. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very good. Couple more books over this way. And another artist over here. And again, like I said, science fiction novels are a big thing here. This this one here, Gene Davis. Some books over here as well. 
I just noticed uh, the uh, the cosplay stage here. This is not the stage. The stage is up there where they're going to do the judging, the tables and whatnot. But I do not recall this from last year. They've got tables set up over here. They've got sound set up. They, they look like they're much better prepared this year than they were last year. So hopefully this is going to be good. There's a lot more people dressed up with their cosplay on. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. All right, last aisle here. Let's go take a look. Got some knitted items up here. And another artist over here. On the other side, a couple different things here as well. Buttons and more artwork. More artwork over there as well. And some more graphic novels here. Pretty cool. <laughs> some other artwork and various comics here. And some more over here. Check out that anime artwork. Very cool. And check this out. This is awesome. It is it. <laughs> and Ronald McDonald, this is the, these are great. Absolutely phenomenal. Really good costumes. I love it. What costumes? <laughs> I just noticed these as, as I'm walking out. They have Frankenstein and his bride. These are different, uh, looks like paintings. They're, they're really good though. Wow, those are great. And check out Frankenstein down on the bottom. Those are really, really cool. I wonder if there's more. Yeah, there's a Joker. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Very cool artwork here. Yeah. Take a look at their card here. This is Small Scale Picks, Kevin Epling. And these are really cool. I really do like some of the work here. Huh. Check this out. I missed this little uh, shadow box type thing with Darth Vader, Obi Wan, and Luke. Well, guys, that's going to cover most of the Comic Con. We still have our cosplay contest coming out shortly. We're going to go grab a bite to eat. They have uh, like a little cafeteria area. So, I'm going to grab something to eat, and uh, then we'll be back for the cosplay contest. All right, guys, here it is. This is the poster that I got last year, signed by Jim Shooter, and today John Beatty's here who also worked on this comic and I'm going to have him sign it. Hello! Hi. So, I have something that I got from yep. a previous event here, <laughs> and I wanted to see if you'd sign that for me. Yeah. Or you can get my better print for 20 <laughs> it does look better, I'm not going to lie, but Jim already signed it's, this one. <laughs> it's actually the real cover before it got chopped up and made into this. Oh, really? Well, it's the one oh, we you turned before, in as the cover. Are we talking about before the this and the... Yeah. Gotcha. Or get another one. Oh. <laughs> But yeah, that's the way Mike and I originally turned it in, and then um, they they took out uh, Kitty Pride because Claremont wanted to use her in an X Men story, or he was using her, and he said it would really interfere with my story. Thanks. Ah, and they took out Thor and Mister Fantastic. Oh yeah. And wow, I have to take a look at that. And then they repositioned. They had to move back um, Nightcrawler. So the actual original cover of this is like a stat that's been cut up and pasted it back together. Wow. I mean, you know, I, the I one they no printed from. Yeah. yeah. But you did the original cover for this? Yeah. Uh, and it's like the most amazing. I See, I didn't it's, even know there was like, another one. And I'm like, this is my like all time favorite. The original is, is that, actually. Okay. I'm and gonna it's have to like the original art is like on a 20 by 30 illustration print. All right, so he was telling me the differences between these, and there's actually quite a few differences if you look. Um, for starters, 
you've got Kitty Pride here and not here. Uh, of course, this is the comic book cover. This is the actual one that got used. Got the uh, here's what's going on in this comic book. You know their logos and everything else. Number one in the twelve issue in the series. Uh, let's see four. Are you is here, but not here. <laughs> Let's see who else is in here. Looks like uh, the uh, stuff here is a little different around her. Storm is the same. Mr. Fantastic is completely missing from the comic here. Uh, and it looks like the Human Torch, the, the original looks much, much uh, better than the... Uh, but aside from that, still very cool. All right, guys, here it is. I got it signed originally, signed by Jim Shooter right there, and now signed by John Beatty right there on Cap Shield. The man who best stroke hole in the galaxy is Darth Vader. <laughs> Dark and brooding is our last guy, Satoru Goji! Not just part of your imagination anymore, it's real, it's figment! Giving off that sweet, creepy pie is just room. This one actually told me that their name is hard to pronounce. Serial designation N. Stepping up from below the ground, it's our friendly Hulk Dweller. That princess with the deagle hopper, straight from the ocean, it's Ariel! <laughs> One of the biggest cartoons from the early 80s, Skeletor from He-Man. You end up with a pretty cool name like Grave. Who's <laughs> all 
always trying to stop Skeletor. Who's got a cooler shield and sword? It's He-Man! That stage is Roxanne Wolf. <laughs> Just to crowd our stage a little bit, the next one is a group of three. We have Mothman running for resting, Boondrop, and Raven from Team Titan. second place. How cool is that, right? I mean, this is the first costume contest I've entered, and I came in second. Very cool. Guys, if you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click on that compass so you can stay subscribed to future episodes. And remember, adventure is just a short ride away.